Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's tutorial on creating cross-section sets that use a standard height. You may have noticed that in SS4 the elevation range has been taken off the Create Cross-Section box, so you can no longer specify an absolute low and high elevation that all of the cross-sections will use. In this example, I've turned off the window clearance so we can get a picture of what every cross-section is going to be as far as inroads is concerned, with it determining the low and high of each. In this example, you'll see that uh, the cross-section I'm showing on the left goes from an elevation range of 90 to 100. On the right, later on in the job, it goes from 120 to 140. This is the highest that it goes, and the 90 is the lowest. So let's say that I want to set an absolute range. Here is one way to kind of work around this situation. 90 is a little tight for this section, so let's say that I want to go from 80 to 140. Since it shows what is available in the plan view, what I need to do is create something that is at the low elevation I want and something that's at the high elevation I want. So I'm going to close out of this and go back to the geometry, which is reference to the corridor. There's my horizontal alignment, and I'm going to take that horizontal alignment and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to create a low and a high uh, a vertical for the copy. So I'm going to go to my tasks, um, horizontal geometry, and I'm going to single offset the entire element. And I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a hundred foot offset. Now I could do two verticals with the same horizontal. I could even put two verticals on this particular Align, but I think it's better to keep them separate, although not, not required. I'm going to use a feature definition, and I'll just use one of the working feature definitions. So I'll say working one, and then I'll just, uh, let's do the low on the left and the high on the right. So I'll offset, I'll pick the element, and I'll bring my cursor over to the left side. Since I'm going to name it separately, I won't do the mirror. And now for the other side, I'll call this a high offset. Locate the element and accept it. And now I need to assign a vertical to each of those. Well, a quick way to get a vertical at an exact elevation is under my vertical geometry I have a command called profile by constant elevation, which creates a vertical or a profile based on an exact elevation. Now for my elevation range, it will go to the next even elevation. So I'm going to go just a little above my desired 80 by telling it I want an elevation of 81. And then I'm going to call this uh, low. And I'll grab this element, reset to end elevation of 81 and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side at an elevation of 139 and we'll call this high and again accept that elevation and now when I hover over that it has an active profile of high and this has an active profile of low if I select it and go to Element Information, you'll see that the elevation is shown here. And if I pick the other side, the elevation is shown there. Now I'll go back to my corridor file. I'm going to go to the corridor model. You'll see since the geometry was referenced, I've got the high on the right and the low on the left and now I'm going to cut a new set of sections. I'll go to my preferences and load up a preference. I'm going to go to the spacing and turn off the window clearance and then I'll apply. If I want to go to a particular section, I'll use my cross-section viewer. That first section we were looking at was at station 100, and you see it now goes from 80 up to the desired 
140. The second section we were looking at was at 156. So I'll go down to 156 and it too goes from 80 to 140. So that sets the elevation low and high it kind of works around it by having something to show at the low elevation and the high elevation. The, the working feature definition uses just a, a tiny tiny little X so you can't even see it on the cross sections. But if you do see it on the section and you want to turn it off, you can turn off that level. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tips at civilcadconsultant.com.